hello guys, welcome back to Russo Model Channel, part number 5, Nissan GTR R35. Do you remember the clear code? It was a wonderful video. Thank you very much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. The new people that join to the club and also to this channel, thank you very much. I all the time try to do my best for you that you will succeed to make more than just like me. And today I will show you how I do the polishing steps. I know that many people love these uh, shiny cars and how to get it. Some people get uh, the clear coat, 1K clear coat, 2K clear coat, but they want the car look shine. And today we will do it on this car, especially on this roof, guys, black. And many people think to make a polish on a black it's a little bit different and a little bit hard to do because you see all the scratches. If you will use the same technique that I get, you will see the end result and you will love it. I promise you that you will love it. So let's see the part, see the, the material, see the tools that I want to make it shine and good. The car is already shine, yes guys, but we will make it more shine and more nice and more professional model kits that uh, people can put it on the office, in the bed, in the living room and enjoy the shining and the brightness of this amazing car. I think it is very nice car guys, so let's start, enjoy. I know that each time that I start a project I show you uh, the same steps, but it's each time it's a different model, so it's very nice to see. I think that I don't make a polish on the black area, so it will be very nice to see the where we start and where we, we will finish today in this part guys so enjoy if you don't love the all the talking and just walking they have a lot of channels they make it they not talk just show yes we do this we do this we do this bye bye but here with me you enjoy and you will see me each time so guys thank you very much let's start i love you bye bye Yes guys, so as you can see, uh, I want to polish the roof, if you can see it's already shine a little bit, this is the uh, clear coat, 2K clear coat guys by Zero Paint, you will achieve a very good result, but if you can see, let me uh, show you that we have a small piece of dust, and if you can see the lamp, this is, you see the light over there? This is the my LED lamp over there up and and if you can see you can't see the light. It's mean it's little bit it's little bit not a flat area and it's not shiny. Okay, if you can see also over there I have a big piece of dust. I don't know. Let me see if I can show you. Do you see over there? this piece guys over there I have big piece do you see it with the light over there and I don't like it and I want to flat everything and make it a very nice uh, looking especially in black I love to see it very shine and today we will do it together with me polishing people it's not a magic it's take time but I will try to help you to make it. Micromash sell for us a, a Micromash sell for us a cloth that you can polish with them. It's a, with different grid. This is 3,600. 3, we have 6,000, 8,000, and 12,000. Okay, guys. What you need to do is use the clean water, dip the 3060. You, if you have 4000, 4, it's okay, it's the same. You can dip it in the water, as I do, as you can see, and start to sand the roof. Okay, guys? And it's very important for the people that want to get a wonderful shine to make it and very flat without any dust 
area on the model because I know that many of you don't like the dust and the dust is the enemy of our models guys so this is what you need to do most of the time use in one area like that like that but not in rounding okay and use water the water will bring you the uh, delicate delicate touch that you can feel that you remove some material from the clear coat guys these steps it's very uh, I think it's easy to make it's not a big issue but it's take time we will do some uh, first moment and uh, you will see me sending and you listen to the music that I love to put in my video but I want to uh, make with you the first steps and I can talk to uh, uh, let you know and learn with you how to make it right guys uh, when I open this channel I tell to myself I see many channels that build model cars and uh, they don't talk when they walk and just show their hand how they do it uh, so I think it's more nice to hear me and see what I'm doing it's not easy but it's worth it because uh, many people that uh, tell me you have a wonderful channel and uh, I really appreciate the kind words and it's nice to have people that see this video and enjoy welcome to YouTube my new subscribers do you want to achieve a shiny roof? Do what I'm doing. Do you see my hand? This is all you need to do, guys. Verified, you touch all the area of the roof. Don't miss in point. And you will get the same result, guys. The same result. Each time you can change. Okay, and do it again. You hear the sound of the sending? This is a very good one. Yeah, my wife with my baby singing a song over there. And I walk with you. The perfect life. <laughs> okay, what you can do now is to see and verify if everything is flat you can take a gaza pad or some cloth and clean the water when you see where you need to send more or less okay after it's cure you can see over there i need to send a little bit more do you see but in this area, on the middle, everything okay, and I need to send a little bit more over there. Do you see the uh, reflection? It means the area is still not flat. So we need to work with the 3600, okay? More and more and more until everything will be in flat. And this is very important uh, part, guys. Okay, you can't go to uh, the next grid if the all the roof it's in flat uh, position and you don't see nothing if you're in the club and you see the video of the Lamborghini I explained over there that after the clear coat I uh, flat all the car with the sanding cloth and after that just shoot the clear mat and that's it and she look fantastic I can show you because you're not a member of my club but if you go over there enjoy us you will, you will really enjoy to see the result of the matte look finish but here we will make it shine because this car it's a real car and uh, the owner wants it very very shine because he wants to put it on the office so I will try to do my best to make his dream car you know in Israel they have a lot of sports car and uh, it's amazing to see people the, with the sports car that come and tell me wow what you're doing it's amazing it's really hard and they won't invest their good money and I will do my best to make it happen and one day maybe you also do it 
learn from me see my video sometimes it's boring to see me sending and sending and sending where is the point but wait and see guys remember if you see on a youtube video of people make a two minute uh, polishing and okay yes it's very very easy no it's not easy if you want to make a really good a really good polishing you need to do it like I do it guys because this is the best way the best way to get a shiny roof and a shiny car guys let's check again where we need to where we need to again we make a more poly more sending some people call it buffing okay everybody see I have a little bit more here a little bit more here and we can go to the second steps okay guys so keep attention when you need to do more or less and do it How are you today? Do you ready for the World Cup in Qatar? I really uh, uh, love to see uh, footballs, soccer. In Israel they call it football, in other countries soccer, but it's the same. And I think this World Cup is going to be amazing. And I think about how I invest my time to see the World Cup and also making models. Maybe I will bring one TV into my lab and also see the World Cup and work and make these things. And also watching the TV, this can be awesome. You know, when I do it alone, I put the music and uh, you can do it at home with music and some cold beer and enjoy the moment because you know modeling it takes time but think about the finish think about the finished model and the finished project and the finished product that uh, will be in the end and I think it's worth it guys because after it will finish it can stay on the shelf for many years and if you not do it and if you put the dust and leave the dust on the model it's uh, I think it's not nice. You all the time tell yourself why I not do it, why I not do it, why I not listen to any. I all the time tell to my friend Asi, do everything, do everything on modern. Okay, so yes, we have it, guys. Everything looks flat and nice. We can move on to the second step. It's a six, six thousand, eight thousand, six thousand, eight thousand, and twelve thousand. Let's make it in fast motion enjoy the music and we will come back and we will continue this amazing process guys okay so enjoy
Yes, go. so uh, guys, after uh, all the sending cloud by Micromash, you see all the steps, enjoy the music, now it's the real time. What I love to do, because it's clear coat, 2K clear coat and it's a little bit hard. So what I will use, it's Shul Concept S2 Black Extra Heavy Cut. And this is a product is especially for black, okay? For black paint. So what we will do, we will put a little bit on piece of paper. No need too much guys. Okay, now you can do it with fiber cloth by Tamiya. It's okay to make a, a polishing bit with end, you will achieve the same result. But I work with STPA, and it's very good one, guys. Very good one, codeless SPTA. It's amazing one. It's very good tool and it will help you a lot to make it but for the people that don't invest money on the power tools you can all the time do polish by hand it's, it's the same it just take more time okay what I will do now is first of all put little bit material and little bit water okay do you see and also on the pad little bit material little bit water okay we're ready to polishing guys the first steps it will be on level one Okay, after that I will remove to level 3. Okay, so enjoy. Enjoy the music, let me walk in and see the end result. Okay guys, this is all I use. It's one step comp uh, compound and it's very good one. So, I will put a little bit more and we'll play with it and you will enjoy the music guys. guys after the power tool the polisher I just make a little bit with fiber cloth to verify that everything okay and everything look fine for me and I will show you the end result and you will see how much it's good to make polishing and it's just the roof guys believe me it's just the roof and it's look fantastic I love it so much I think it's awesome and uh, I hope that now you can see the lamp better let's try to make the camera focus on the roof and you will try to see do you see you see all the lead inside all the small lead and this is wonderful things to do guys you can also verify that everything look okay you also can see my face over there and it's fantastic all my lab it's like a mirror this is how we get a mirror shine guys this is 
how we do it, guys. You can polish all the car in the same step that I do, but people, black roof, it's very easy and uh, you can see it. Okay, let's continue. Okay, so guys, I see many people that uh, all the time struggling with the material in the grooves. After you make a polish, you have material in the groove and it's not nice. It's white compound that you need to remove. And uh, I asked myself how to show you how I remove it. So it's very simple. I just take a little bit water with brush. I dip the brush and get inside and remove all the white material. So the people that they make some uh, wonderful uh, polishing, this is my trick. I all the time dip it in the water and after that put inside and let the brush get inside from all the area. You can take a toothpick and also a toothbrush to remove all the remain component that get inside and it will be super awesome and very nice to remove it. After you remove it, you can clean all the area. You can take a tweezer, get inside and take it out. Do you see? All the material go out, guys. When it's dry, it's a little bit hard, but when it's get wet, it's super easy. <laughs> we love it. Okay. So keep attention, you can do it with toothpick, with a brush, with a, a toothbrush, it's okay. And you will remove all the unnecessary material that go to inside the groove. And it's very important to disappear them. And uh, after that you can use a panel line. Before that you can use a panel line. But it's very important to remove it guys because it's not nice when you finish your model and you have some white material inside the groove guys. Do you see the reflection guys? It's fantastic, it's amazing, I love it so much and I hope that people will do it. Before we finish this uh, part I want to show you one more thing that <laughs> I learned from uh, mistakes and I learned from the past and I want to show you and share with you what I know. As you can see over there we have the trim line of the windows, okay, all over the places, over there. And it's not nice that it's in a glossy black, so what I use, a Tamiya paint marker XF1, it's a black, flat black, as you can see. And it's very good one, what I love to do, it's verify that first it's working and paint, okay? After that, what I love to do, it's paint all the trim line in black flat black and it will demonstrate the uh, it will demonstrate the rubber the seal over there of the windows and it's look fantastic when you have the contracts between the flat black and also the uh, glossy black over there also it's very easy guys you don't need to mask just verify that you are in the right position. Okay, super easy guys. And imagine that you uh, run away and make something like that. You all the time can take a little bit thinner like that and use some Gaza pad, dip it dip it and remove it guys remove it and it will disappear everybody see so each time it's you don't like the paint and what you make you can very easily remove it with some with some of the wait i will clean it yes with thinner okay because the clear coat will not be damaged because the clear coat it's very strong and it's different material so you can you can continue 
to make the same thing that I do guys and it's very good look very good you can all the time play and bring it to the place that you like and want the shape look amazing do you see it guys fantastic you can also make it over there like that super easy guys people make your hobby easy this is why I love the pen but verify it's in a uh, flat black yes after it's cute it's uh, will be awesome you can also make one of there but you not have to make it like that and after that after that I make it do you see super easy guys super easy believe me see my hand working touch and go all the way touch and go very li straight line guys because it's a marker and it's very good touch and go yes touch and go <laughs> Touch and go. Okay, also in the curves. Go, make it until you be satisfied. I see many people that uh, all the time uh, paint and a mask. It's okay. You can do anything that you want in modeling, but I think it's more easy way to make it, guys. So try to make it and let me know if you succeed, guys. Uh, believe me, it's very easy to make just verify that you do the right things and it will be super awesome but leave it just look the roof <laughs> super awesome guys I hope that you enjoy today uh, it's I know that it's not uh, a big uh, task but it's very important one because the polishing is a very good part for the people that want to take the model to the next level so Keep attention and uh, I hope that people uh, learn how to make it. After that you can use some wax or something like that, ceramic, uh, everything that you want, it will be okay. You can leave it like that and it will be fantastic. I hope that I, I hope for some of the people that want to start to make a polish for the car, take it easy. It's not happening the first time but each time that you will do it, you will succeed more and more and more. And this is why it's very important to start to make a polish through models. Okay, guys? So, thank you very much. Bye-bye, Russell Model Channel.